And uh, we just came off of the stage in front of 5,000 people. It makes you work harder, I suppose. Out at celebration, and I got to just walk around the floor and got to just sit in the stage in front of 5,000 people in a future filmmakers panel. We had some special guests, including um, the new Han Solo, Alden Ehrenreich, uh, which was pretty exciting. We are at Star Wars Celebration, good time, here in London, and uh, we just came off of the stage in front of 5,000 people in a future filmmakers panel. We had some special guests, including um, the new Han Solo, Alden Ehrenreich, uh, which was pretty exciting. He yeah. doesn't really betray anxiety. I don't right. know if he experiences it. He's, um, he's, I'm sure he's, I mean, you can't walk out into that room of, you know, almost 5,000 people as Han Solo and having everybody scream and hoop and holler and not be like, oh my God. He, he must not know. Right. Like he must not understand exactly how much his life just changed <laughs> five minutes ago. John Boyega and Mark Hamill and Carrie Fisher were all there as well. So it was pretty fun. There was a lot of charm on stage. Yeah. It's very cliche to say that it's a dream come true because uh, that's how uh, all of us who are doing these things feel. It, but it's true because, you know, growing up, you didn't even think it was possible to direct a Star Wars movie. You didn't even think that was something that was possible to do. They were done. It yeah. was, they were finished. Yeah, and also, you know, it's just, yeah, it's, it's crazy to think that you were able to, that this is what we do for our jobs. That was a pretty uh, big freak out for me. Walking out and seeing all those people and realizing, all oh, right, like uh, it's kind of a big deal. <laughs> because for me, it's not very helpful to think about the responsibility. You know, it doesn't make you more creative. So um, it makes you work harder, I suppose. But it but it doesn't make you more creative. So I try to put the blinders on, and every once in a while, like you can't help but take them. You have to take them off. When you go to a thing like celebration, you get to see passion and positivity and excitement and people who care about stuff a lot. And in a way that, that is exactly the type of thing that, that, that we want to see more of in the world. So it's going to a place like this where you just see a lot of excitement and positivity and not a lot of sort of angry, arms folded uh, attitude is, is awesome. Our friend Rob Bredow put together this virtual reality experience that's playing here, and uh, which is so far out. And what he told us was that people, like when real fans experience that some of them weep because they're actually in the thing that they love so much and to me like I can't imagine a more um, pure uh, human experience that like the, that some folks made like a creative piece of art and people are able to connect with it that deeply Today here at, at Celebration in London, it's, uh, it's kind of the very first time I've stood up in front of Star Wars fans and gone to talk at all about uh, Episode Eight, And we only did a little bit because it's mostly about Rogue One this year and, and the focus is on that. Next year in Orlando is really where we'll come out and really get to talk about it. It was, it was fun getting to just stand up in front of, um, you know, the... The, the elite fans, the fan, 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 fans, and really, uh, yeah, just give even just like a little introduction to kind of what we're up to. Last year in Anaheim, I went uh, just to watch when The Force Awakens was having their uh, their whole rollout at Celebration, and I got to just walk around the floor and got to just sit in the crowd. And so it was. I'm really happy I got to do that last year and just experience it from the crowd and just feel kind of the the energy out there and like the positivity and uh and so stand sitting up on stage which is terrifying for me and like the wrong side of the lights for me i like being behind the lights but last year having been out there and and, and known that just sitting in the audience is people who love this so much and are um so into it and so rooting for it to be something really special you know it, 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 it felt good it felt really good for me the experience has been about my experience with these ac wonderful actors on set and with the people at lucasfilm just telling us figuring out a story to tell um and just all of us kind of coming together as this little family to tell a story that we care about
I'm so happy they they cast Alden in that part. I just think he's perfect for it. And so I, you could feel the crowd like embracing him when he came out. It was cool to see him step into that role. It's gonna. I can't wait to see it.